Before I begin, if you believe you have a blood clot, please contact your healthcare provider. It could be your doctor or your nurse, because this could be a medical emergency. I'm the WizDoc, and on this channel, we'll talk about various healthcare topics. If you like what you see, do not hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell button for future videos. In this video, we'll talk about what blood clots are, the risk factors, and symptoms associated with blood clots. So, let's go. Anyone can be affected by blood clots, and it can be prevented. In the U.S. alone, the CDC estimates about 900,000 people affected by this condition yearly, and a certain percentage of them actually die from blood clots. A blood clot in one of your extremities, in one of the major veins, is what we call a deep vein thrombosis. If a DVT is not treated, it can break off in some instances and travel to the lungs and cause what we call a pulmonary embolism. If you have a blood clot in your lungs, this is more urgent, emergent actually, and needs immediate medical attention because it can cause sudden death. It is important that you know the risks that are associated with developing blood clots because they do not discriminate by age, gender, ethnicity, or race. Blood clots can affect anyone. So there are three major risk factors, cancer, hospitalization and surgery, and pregnancy. Other risk factors include birth control, taking hormonal supplements, smoking, being immobile or sitting down for long periods of time, trauma or when you injure or hurt your vessel, the vein, that can actually predispose you to um, developing a blood clot. Also, a family history of blood clots predisposes you to having blood clots. And finally, being overweight can also increase your risk of developing blood clots. It is important to understand these risk factors because some of them are modifiable. In other words, you can modify your lifestyle to reduce the risk of you developing a blood clot in the future. And now let's talk about the symptoms. It is very easy to recognize the symptoms associated with blood clots, be it in your legs, your arms, or in the lungs. And it's also important to understand that blood clots can be safely treated. If you have been diagnosed with a blood clot, it is very easy to get them treated, especially if you're not symptomatic, or even if you're symptomatic, you can get treated for blood clots. Regarding a DVT, which is a blood clot in your arm or your leg, some of the symptoms that you should be on the lookout for, or if you have them, you should please contact your healthcare provider for further evaluation to rule out the presence or absence of a blood clot. These symptoms include swelling of your arm or your leg, associated pain that's not caused by any kind of injury or trauma, redness, and warmth of that extremity, be it your arm or your leg, should raise suspicion for a blood clot. So if you have any of these symptoms, talk to your healthcare provider to for they evaluate you, possibly get a scan to rule out the blood clot. Symptoms associated with blood clots in the lungs or pulmonary embolism are more of an emergency. So if you have any concerns or suspicions of any of these symptoms, please reach out to your doctor immediately because it could be an emergency. These symptoms could include difficulty breathing. You could also have chest pain that's worse with inhalation. So when you take a deep breath and the pain gets worse, that's also concerning. The third symptom is when you cough up blood. So you're coughing a whole lot and you're coughing up blood. And finally, another symptom that is very common is a fast heart rate. Your heart is beating really fast or you feel like you're having palpitations or an irregular heartbeat. Finally, we've come to the end of this video. It is important to understand that blood clots can be prevented. It is not a respect of any person. It does not discriminate by age, gender, race, or ethnicity. Anyone can be affected by a blood clot. It is important to understand the risk factors and also the associated symptoms that are connected with developing a blood clot, be it in the legs, which we call a DVT, or in the lungs, which we call a pulmonary embolus. If you feel that you have any risk factors for having blood clots, please talk to your doctor. If you feel that you are having any symptoms associated with blood clots beat in the legs or in your lungs, talk to your doctor as soon as possible. And also, if you're about to have surgery, you might have concerns regarding blood clots, also talk to your doctor. In this video, we talked about what blood clots are, the risk factors, and some of the symptoms associated with having blood clots beat in your legs or in your lungs. If this video was helpful and you haven't yet, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell for future videos. I'm the Wizdoc. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.